another day in paradise. Welcome back to beautiful Levi. Today we have more adventure time for you. First of all, we have to fix Sensivo because this car is just giving gas by itself. So same issue like I had with my Supra last time, but this time we're with the Evo. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I just literally tied my shoes and started to get out of breath. What's the problem? Uh, the throttle body uh, have a small issue. A small issue. Ah, a wackel conduct. A wackel conduct. It's time for the GTR and maybe we even have a little surprise for you afterwards But I'm still not quite sure if it will work or not. If it will work, it will be pretty nice So GTR it has been sitting there the last few days and it's full of salt from the transport here So we have to clean it. Let's see if the GTR will start. It has like minus 90 degrees It's so cold here and the car has been sitting for I think three days Ah <laughs> Literally the best car for winter. GTR always starts up. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to say anything more. <laughs> Is it working now? Sounds good. Oh. Perfect fix. Hey! Yeah, redneck fixing of the evil yeah so chilled minus 15 degrees here we are going to go eat something really quick before we do anything crazy today so let's go to Levi ah it's so beautiful here let me just take a picture ah oh, this looks so good Guy. We haven't even really started our trip yet, it's already crazy. I think he's really hungry, that's why he's driving like that. <laughs> and honestly the GTR just feels like a luxury car compared to the Supra up here. I have all-wheel drive so I won't get stuck all the time. I have nice brakes, I have heating. Ah, perfect, it's like holidays. If you want to do a road trip with your car in winter, come to Levy. You will love it. One of the coolest places I've ever been to, honestly. When is Fitness Burger King? That's a great combination. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, food was delicious. Now on to cleaning our cars and refueling and then the fun begins. Oh, police. <laughs> <laughs> So we did a donut in the runabout and the police, I think they saw it because they were literally in front of me and now they keep following us but we don't really know. I'm just gonna wash my car and pretend nothing ever happened. They're driving away now. Everything okay. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Looks like I'm too deep for the sheep. Ah, oh, scheiße. I didn't realize my GTR was that deep. No, I everything up, I think. <laughs> 
Es ist wieder zum Zangeln. Was ist? Ich bin gerade so deppert, oder die Anlage ist so hoch und ich bin gerade so deppert mit dem Alu-Splitter dagegen, dass mir gerade vorne alles runterbrochen ist bei GTA. Ja. Na, das ist ja nach hinten geschoben. Das ist ja, das streift ja alles. Das müssen wir einfach, die ganze Bornstange einfach runtergeben. Ja. Ja. Hey, ohne Stange fahren. Ja. <lacht> also nichts mit Autowash, da haben wir uns 40 Euro für Autowash gezahlt. Das ist das most stupid thing I've done in the last. I don't think really it's my fault, I didn't see it. It was this big of a concrete barrier in front of the washing place. I guess that's what I get for trying to drive my GTR through automatic car wash. But the purpose of the aluminium skid plate was that my front bumper, which I just replaced, which is like 8000 euros, that it does break. And now the reason why my front bumper completely broke is because of the aluminium skid plate. So now we have to find a workshop where we can demount my front bumper. Uh, I guess I will have to go drive around without my front bumper because this is just stupid. Uh, some guy here who is a rally driver and he's uh, doing some practice laps here. He sent me a location and told me to go here. Now maybe they can help us a little bit. It would be very cool. I bet the others are having fun right now. So okay. So, Mani had a we nice idea. Too much. <laughs> I think we talked too much. We had a, on the road. <laughs> Mani got an awesome idea to drive on a right corner straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, so we have arrived, but part of our troop mainly the chef mechanic Mani and Mani. When we went right, they went straight and now they need to be pulled out. So we'll see them in a few minutes, I guess. <laughs> Du hast du, Mann! <laughs> so, let's see if we can fix this problem. So, as if my front bumper was not enough, we also found out that my rear tire is flat. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. No, this can't forget. Perfekt gemacht. 1A. Also war nie was passiert. Jetzt fahre ich die Waschanlage rein. Die Waschanlage fahre ich jetzt in die ein. So, I think the GTR is fixed again. It looks like nothing ever happened. Ah, beautiful duct tape job down here. Down here. Over here. Over here. Yeah, let's just hope this holds up for longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, so we're back. My car is not scraping anymore, which is perfect. Thanks to Armin Schwarz and the entire team at their driving experience for helping us out, really. <laughs> they pulled out Mani out of the ditch first, and now they fixed my GTR bumper. So nice of them. And yeah, now we go and see if we can find some more roads. here in these roads in Finland which make it a bit hard for the GTR honestly
I might have underestimated this corner a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So cold up here. We're on top of Levy Mountain here, I think. There's all the skiers. Uh, I can't talk that much because I'm freezing my face off. people seem to like it so donuts on top of Levy Mountain completed <laughs> let's continue our journey to find some good roads here in Levy to drive honestly I feel like I'm on a different planet I have to say this again right now but this does look like we're on planet Earth again a little bit at least it's a bit too tight to properly send it because the road is nearly wide enough for my GTR <laughs> or I have a too big of a car I don't know
Yeah, it's now a few hours later actually. And Niels the Legend organized that we can drive up this ski slope. Honestly, it's very, very steep. Uh, I'm not 100% sure we can make it up the top, but we'll give it our best. That's also the reason why I brought the GTR today. Uh, I'm very excited for it. I love the idea of driving a car on a ski slope and I think it's going to be insane. So yeah, we'll have to set everything up. We have to prepare the pist, we have to get some skidos and then we'll see each other. Yeah, we're at the bottom of the ski slope and honestly, it's so steep. <laughs> I really don't think we're going to make it up the top because sure, why not? Look at this. It's flat. <laughs> it doesn't look so steep on video, but it's honestly it gets steeper and steeper every meter you go up more to the top. Uh, I'm feeling not good, man. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go check out the pist really quick with the skido. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I've done this before, but not such a steep slope. It's what good to <laughs> yeah, we made it. <laughs> I didn't really go to the top, but it's so steep here. Ah, oh, insane here. I can't believe it. The GTR got up so easily. Like I already said, it's the best car for winter. And honestly, look how amazing this looks. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So thank you very much, Niels. Honestly, you're a legend. Okay, let's go down. I kind of want to try it one more time to see maybe I get a little bit further. Ah, but honestly, it's insane here. It's so cool. Although I have to say, driving down is very scary. <laughs> very scary. Very scary. Get back or get smacked. Now we know what the best winter car is. Who made it up the furthest? <laughs> yeah, yeah.
okay, maybe I have to let my car cool off a little bit. <laughs> I think we jumped a little bit even. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately I didn't really make it up to the top because the car overheated a little bit. But I think that was far enough. We got farther than the Evo and the RS4, which is a great success for the GTR. Honestly, that was so cool. Yeah, so let's go down to the others, see what they have to say. Driving down is literally the sketchiest part. Driving up is no problem, but driving down, I, again, I can't say it enough times, but thank you to Niels, honestly. It was a very long dream. I mean, I did it last year, but we didn't really do YouTube back then, so. Now the first time for YouTube, R35 GTR drives up the ski slope <laughs> and it makes it farther than an Audi and a Mitsubishi. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Take that Audi fan voice. Second cut <laughs> is gone. Yeah, so after Mani also lost his second cut now, I think it's time to drive home and call it a day. We did everything we wanted to do. Nothing broke except my front bumper. Perfect day, perfect day. I really hope you enjoyed the video because I most certainly did enjoy doing it. And yeah. Just be prepared for the next videos. I think they're gonna be equally cool. <laughs> See you guys in the next video.